Hey guys, what's going on? It's Paul with Frog Eyes Outdoors, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a Texas rig. So uh, the Texas rig has probably become one of my favorite, uh, probably favorite baits of all time to throw. Um, it, it's just really reliable, uh, and it just it's, it works in tons of different conditions, um, weather patterns, stuff like that. Um, there's and then obviously there's a lot of uh, a lot of baits to choose from, so a lot of soft plastics. Um, so if you go to the store, you know you can pick out your favorite soft plastic, and nine times out of ten, you it'll work with a Texas rig. Um, so today I'm just going to be showing you guys kind of the basics. Uh, so yeah. So another huge benefit of using this style of bait um, is it's super, super cheap. Um, so pretty much the only thing you're, you're going to need are, um, are hooks, pegs, and uh, bullet weights. And then obviously your soft plastic. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you're going to need to set this up in a more basic way. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to start out with the, uh, the peg, getting this thing on the line here. So what I'm going to do is just take one of these, it's going to be on this thin wire, you have a little loop above the wire, you're just going to run your line right through there, and pull it back through, and then just take your peg and just slide it onto your line, like that, and then you can just go ahead and slide it all the way up. Um, up through so there we go now it's um, not attached anymore so there we go we have the peg on the line all right now what we're gonna uh, gonna do here is just take our bullet weight this is I think this is a three-quarter ounce um, it's a good all-around weight to use um, but you can really use whatever you want um, and we'll just put that through so there we go now we have our weight and our peg Okay, now what we're gonna do is put our hook on, which is uh, one of the last things here. I, I this I think this is a four or five aught, um, offset worm hook. You can pretty much use whatever you want. Um, you can use a wide gap or extra wide gap, but this is what I found to be uh, the best for me. So this, this is pretty much what I use um, all the time when I'm doing my Texas rigs. So, uh, yep, I'm just gonna go go ahead and get this thing tied on, and then I'll show you guys how to put on the soft plastic. Okay guys, so uh, now we have our hook tied on. Um, what I'm gonna do is just take uh, the peg and just slide it down um, all the way down. So now this is what we have. So uh, now we're just ready to put on the soft plastic, which is the uh, last step, and then you are good to go. So um, I'm gonna use one of these. I really recommend you use something like this. It's just a curly tail worm. Uh, this is a zoom. It's a, it's a really nice, it has a uh, chartreuse pattern for the tail. Um, and, I, and these are just really, really reliable baits. I really recommend using something like this. You can pick these up pretty much anywhere. Um, so yeah, but yeah, these are really good using uh, when you first start Texas rigging because they're just easy to rig up. So we'll just slide our weight up here. I like to turn over my hook like this um, and just take the nose of the bait and just run it through a little bit like that okay then we're gonna run it up the shaft here of the hook and twist it around oops got it tangled up there we go like this and uh, I actually like to sink the soft plastic all the way up um, past the knot in the uh, eye of the hook just because it helps it stay um, like that so see how there, there's nothing exposed up here really um, then I'm just gonna bend the soft plastic in like that and then pull it down so there we go let's pull down um, our peg here and that's pretty much um, pretty much what it looks like here. 
depending on how you like to rig it, you can, um, down here near the soft plastic, I like to rig mine weedless, so that just means I leave, leave um, all of the hook inside. I have none of the tip of the hook exposed um, so that it just doesn't get caught on stuff. And, uh, yeah, but you can do whatever you want. Uh, leaving the hook exposed might lead to a little bit of a better hookup ratio. You know, whatever whatever is your preference, um, you can use. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much how you do it, guys. Um, it's very simple and uh, really reliable. So, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope it uh, helped out a lot. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to ask me in the comment section, and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. And uh, I'll leave all the equipment used today. Uh, I'll link it down in the description so you can find it easily and uh, purchase it if you want to use it. And uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.